other than the ultra-wide lens, night mode is probably the most important new feature on the iPhone 11 camera. Night mode can operate completely automatically behind the scenes, or it's possible to manually enable or adjust night mode when it's available. Currently, I'm in a semi-well-lit room. It's dark enough, though, that the night mode icon is appearing in the upper left. If I turn on a desk lamp, the night mode button is removed. The scene is now well lit enough that night mode is not needed and it's not presented as an option. In this case, I'm not able to manually activate night mode. Turn the lamp back off and the night mode button returns, but it remains white. Now let's close the curtains in the room. The night mode button now turns yellow which means it's active and is going to be utilized when the shot is taken. To give you a better idea of exactly how dark it is in the room, here's a shot taken of the scene with an iPhone X. So now let's take the shot using night mode. After I press the shutter, a little timer is going to count down. If you're holding the iPhone by hand, you're going to need to do your best to hold still during this countdown. The photo comes out well lit, but also with a lot of detail. We can zoom in on this and see there's barely any graininess or noise, which is not the case with a similar shot taken with an iPhone X. We can also manually control night mode. I'm going to make the room even darker. When I do that, the automatic duration for night mode goes up to 5 seconds. And I can now extend this to a maximum of 13 seconds of exposure time. So both the automatic and maximum durations for night mode are going to change depending on how dark the scene is. Slide the opposite direction to reduce the exposure time or turn night mode off completely. The longer duration night mode is set to, the more light the camera is going to be able to take in but it'll also be harder to hold still that long, so the odds increase of motion blur being introduced. To get the best results with night mode, you'll want to shoot with a tripod or with the iPhone propped up against something stable. If we go back to the room being fairly well lit, the night mode button goes back to being white. So the camera doesn't require night mode to get a decent shot, but I can still manually enable it. And in this case, the software won't let me expose the scene for longer than a second. Before I press the shutter this time, I'm going to bobble Dwight's head. With night mode on, the motion in the resulting shot is going to be blurred. This is why both the photographer and the subject or subjects need to do their best to remain still during night mode shots. 